What's going on boys? Welcome everybody back to another player review. So today we're going to be looking at 90 rated Manuel Neuer getting a plus one from last year, which I absolutely love. Now with these player reviews, as you guys know with my outfield players, what I always do is I actually play the game like, you know, live commentary my, you know, I play the game live. Usually I play two or three games with them, get all of the clips, and then do a pros and cons screen and a rating out of 10. Now, what we're going to do with the goalie review. Goalkeeper reviews are a whole lot harder for YouTubers, I mean, in general, but for me personally, it's a whole lot harder to record goalkeeper reviews because you need to play more than two games to figure out what type of goalkeeper it is. So what I'm going to do, boys, is instead of, you know, just playing all the games and cutting it up, I'm going to do a, a new little style of review. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to play maybe maybe four or five games, I'm going to cut up all of his saves, his goals conceded, all of that good stuff, and then obviously do a voice over it, so a post-com, um, so yeah, hope you guys do enjoy, remember as well, uh, this is how the leaderboards for the play reviews currently do stand, and first, we have got David Ginola with a 9.4, second, we have Rudiger with a 9.1, and in third, we do have Kareem Benzema, remember boys, ratings are based on how good the card is, and how expensive he is as well, for example, Ginola is absolutely cracked, so it would make sense to give him like a 9.9 .9 or 10 but once he's extinct at 850k you know he's not cheap so you've got to narrow that rating down a bit let's get into a man mal noia review Right, so hopping into the gameplay. Also, please ignore the rain. Uh, you might be able to hear some rain in the background. It is currently raining where I live. But game one, we do come up against this team. He's got Inform Vinicius in there, Gabriel Jesus, uh, Chiesa, all of that. Now, seven minutes or eight minutes for that matter into his debut, he goes 1-0 down. It is not ideal. Can't get worse than that, right? Wrong. We can see it again, 2-0 down within 14 minutes. Realistically, Neuer can't do too much there. And as well, we bring it back to 3-2 up, and my opponent finds his, wa his way through. Neuer has not made a single save. My opponent, once again, is literally toying with me. Fair play, my opponent was absolutely class. Um, Neuer, I try move a keeper, we get it wrong. He has not touched the ball yet, and he has conceded four. Now, this is literally, I could you not, 79 minutes in his first touch of the ball. And, I mean, lots of the goals would really nor you couldn't do anything not much keepers are going to save them just really unfortunate that my opponent was that good now we do actually have an absolutely lovely comeback we do win 5-4 but sadly not a great game from Neuer now hopping into the next game the second game it can't get bad right it can't be as worse wrong my opponent goes ahead and scores an absolute banger with De Bruyne and he goes again and Neuer actually makes a save I could you not lads it's his first save in the second game it's his first save and then we go ahead and concede from a corner Genuinely, I don't know if he's got a curse on him or something, but he was incredibly unlucky. Now, in the second half, he did pull off a couple really nice saves to keep me into the game. At this stage, we are free to up. Um, my opponent, once again, he does take a shot, and I think it just does go over the bar. Uh, so, I mean, he's only made one or two saves, and literally was 60 minutes gone in the second game. And like I said, the four goals we conceded in the first game, there's genuinely not much he can do. Same with that one, like, no keeper is stopping that. Genuinely, it, it just comes down to luck. It comes down to how good your opponent is we are in division four as well and is very sweaty and once again no, no keeper is saving that really really unlucky man really unlucky i believe that game as well we did lose five three now next game we do uh go and concede it and make it one one noia i'm just like noia i'm not getting along with noia does he have a curse on him or something but no we bring it back to two one and i don't know what noia put in his food or what he ate before he played this game but noia was absolutely class like that save right there that that's what you want Neuer to do. The first couple games, he conceded a, com a combination of nine goals, and he only saved three. Now, in the third game, which is obviously what you're seeing now, Neuer was absolutely class. As you can see, we bring him out. Not sure if he got a save to it or a hand to it, but he definitely got a hand to that. And that is what you expect Manuel Neuer to do. That is the Manuel Neuer I know. And like the first couple games, as I said, was not convincing. But once again, Neuer with the reflexes was absolutely class. So the first two games with him, I could just put it down to my opponents being absolutely clinical finishes. Um, I feel like this third game here is definitely the, the most represent the best representation of Manuel Neuer, you could say. He was actually really, really good. Once again, another really nice savior as well. Now, one thing I did notice the most with him was actually his reflexes. Um, now, he's got 88 reflexes 
really, really nice. 88 diving as well, 88 handling. Um, but the 91 kicking as well, his kicking was absolutely phenomenal. But as you can see, boys, game one, which was a 5-4 win, he got a match rating of 4.6 from EA. Yeah, I could you not, but it's absolutely shocking, I know. A 4.6 match rating in game one is really rough. He did, I mean, concede four goals. Although we won, he literally, I don't think he made a single save and he conceded four. Game two was a 5-3 loss, except he actually made some saves this time, hence the 5.7 match rating. And in the final game, which is a game you guys just saw, 7.1 match rating. Genuinely, he deserved like an eight. He was absolutely phenomenal. Three games, 10 goals conceded and six saves. But it's not too pretty to look at. I'll be brutally honest with you guys. It is not too pretty to look at whatsoever. But do not be fooled um, because obviously nine of the goals came in the first two games um, and one of which we actually won 5-4. So the game where we lost 5-3, I will admit Neuer wasn't great. He was making saves. You're kind of like, he's a 90 rated keeper. You should maybe be getting a hand to that. Um, but the first game, I'm just going to put it down to my opponent being clinical. Same with the second game. Not much keepers are really going to save them. Um, and I mean, I still got to be honest though. He, being 90 rated, being the big name, Manuel Neuer, you would expect him to do a tiny bit better. Like he, he didn't make anything that, he, he didn't save anything that made me go like, you know, that's unbelievable up until the final game. So, I mean, first two games, really sweaty games, really good players, really unfortunate. But the third game, if he can play for you guys like he did for me in the third game, then happy days. Now, over to the pros and cons, boys. The pros that, I mean, there is not really a con with a keeper. You can't really find cons with keepers so as for the pros it's genuinely just all his stats his diving handling kicking reflexes and positioning as well i did put his height of six foot four um, and being six foot four the taller the better for the keeper no doubt um and obviously six foot four i feel like is a really reasonable height for the goalie now as for the cons, there is no cons because you can't really find a con with a keeper. Some keepers, um, cons are maybe too short, like 5'11", 6 foot in my opinion, isn't quite tall enough for a keeper, but obviously Neuer, not an issue for him. So, overall rating out of 10. Now, if you guys remember the leaderboards, it currently stands Janola in first with a 9.4, followed by Rudiger in second and Kadeem Benzema in third. Now, Manuel Neuer, rating out of 10 based on his performance, and based on his value, he's currently coming in at 45,000 coins on both the PS4 and the Xbox. So, or PS4, PS and Xbox, I think PS4 as well, it, it means PS5, I, I don't know, but either way, I think they actually share the same market, right? PS5 and PS4, I'll stop rambling. Anyways, the overall rating for Manuel Neuer, it's going to go, I'm going to give him a 7.5, lads. He wasn't great, he wasn't insane. I feel like the reason he's only a 7.5, he's a good Bundesliga keeper, and he's literally the best Bundesliga keeper but you've got Jan Sommer who I believe or Jan Sommer who I think is 85 rated or 86 as well you've got Gulaski who's 85 um, and surprisingly Neuer is one of the only good German Bundesliga goalies so if you're looking for like a German strong link like with Klosterman which is exactly what I ran um, Neuer and Klosterman so they could get each other full chem obviously they get a strong link with each other he's the only really good German Bundesliga goalie because all of the other ones like Sommer is from Switzerland Gulaski is from Hungary etc etc um, Castiles as well is from Belgium so I don't know if, if you're linking him with Klosterman then I probably would go you know Neuer is probably one of the best options but personally lads I would much ra rather use say 82 rated trap and literally save 44,000 coins you know I just personally don't think he's massively worth the 45,000 coins but still he's a good keeper he'll do the job for you he'll get the, the right links he's Bundesliga I get that but still I'll just much rather go with trap and save the coins if you guys did enjoy let me know as well what other review you want to see remember goalie reviews do take a while it's taking me like two hours to record just to play the games to edit it all of that good stuff but yeah if you guys did enjoy till next time boys I'll see you later